Hey guys, this is Dan Wolwak with Cold Cracker Bushcraft. Today I wanted to continue talking about flint and steel and move into solar ignition because we're going to be igniting the same materials, which is our charred materials, specifically for this video, charred cloth with solar ignition. So what's solar ignition? Well, solar ignition is basically using the sun's heat and energy to ignite our char by using a burning lens or a magnification lens. So what do we need, of course? Where are we going to get that if you don't know what that is already? Well, if you go to Walmart, CVS, um, Rite Aid, Walgreens, you can buy magnif magnifying lenses um, around a reading glass area, pop it out, and you're good. As long as you have something 5 to 7 power, that's more than enough. I'll see some people carry huge burning lenses like this. It's probably overkill. You're not going to need that. It's just taking up more room and weight in your pack. Me, personally, I have one, but... I never carry the thing around. I end up carrying small lenses. So here, just wrapped up in some brain tan, I have the burning lens that I carry most of my kit. And this just came out of a pair of binoculars that I got at a yard sale for a dollar. I just took the lens out. And that works absolutely great. You can also carry a small kit like this that I showed in another video that has the burning lens built in. And I'm a huge fan of these tobacco tins with the burning lens for one reason. I can keep my flint my steel and my burning lens all in one place and if i fill this up with char ahead of time and i'm prepared to go out into a wilderness type setting i probably can get 15 to 30 fires out of this tin without even renewing it so i'm not too worried about not being able to throw this in the fire i know i'm going to have other types of containers that i can make char in so this isn't my primary concern if this is filled up with char i'm going to make a lot of fires out of this so i'm not worried about it so if you don't have one of these, I highly recommend purchasing one of these tobacco tins. They're actually a great asset to your kit. So when we talk about solar ignition, what do we need to think about? Well, first of all, of course, we're going to need sun. If it's nighttime or extremely overcast, this might not work. But if there is some sun, then this will definitely work. And it's we're not using up any materials other than any of our charred materials that we already have. So what we're going to do... I'm going to just take out a piece of char here, and I'm just going to lay it right here on our stump. And there's two things, or really three things, that we need to take in consideration when we're working with any type of charred material. Okay, Number one is our distance of the lens to the object that we're trying to, char to ignite. Second is the angle of our lens to the sun. Okay, We want a good beam. And third is... If we have a subpar type charred material or natural tinder, which we're going to talk about in future videos, we really want to get somewhere stable because we don't want this moving around. Okay, This lens moving around is doing nothing more than taking a lighter and heating up a stick. Ultimately, you're never going to be able to light that stick because you're just going back and forth. It's not concentrating in one area. So we're going to use the sun's power. We're going to magnify it and break it down into... A nice fine beam and that's going to have what is ultimately going to ignite our charred material so i'm going to get the camera repositioned show you quickly how we do that and how quick and simple it is with sun when it's in the sky and then we're going to talk a little bit more detail just about technique and getting it done okay so when we do this we have our charred material we're just going to set it here Okay, we want to take our magnification lens and we want to get the smallest pinpoint we can with this. So what we want to first look at is our depth to the object, okay? And if you move this back and forth, which I'm going to show up closely in another in a video in a second here, okay, you're going to see that our spot is getting larger and smaller, larger and smaller, okay? So you want to get it as small as possible. And then by turning your lens to and forth, away from the sun you're going to see the shape of that change ultimately we want a small pinpoint of sun okay and then we're just going to take that hit our char cloth with it As you can see, that ignited very, very quickly. Now with good char like this, good cotton char, I know that that was going to ignite pretty quickly. So I didn't need to worry too much about keeping this lens good and stable. Okay? 
So you can let it float out there. Once you get that good beam on there, most likely it's gonna ignite. Okay guys, so what I wanna show you up close here is we talked about angle to the sun and depth. To our piece of char and I'm just using this piece of wood for example purposes but as you see as I move in and out we're magnifying that Sun more and if I would turn it you can see okay we're losing magnification so we need to get that full circle and then we can come out or in to really dial that in and that's ultimately what we're looking for is that nice little circle just like that we're starting to actually burn the wood by doing this so you can see right here we actually just burn the wood by doing that with the magnifying lens so if that was charred material we definitely get that started but this is a good example of depth and angle to the Sun so as you can see solar ignition is a very simple straightforward process we're using a renewable resource. We're not wasting any material other than the charred material that we have to initiate our first or second or third fire. So it's very, very simple. Sometimes it takes a little bit of practice, but it doesn't take much. And you'll be able to definitely use this technique when you're out and about scouting or camping for long-term type scenario. I want to thank everybody for watching this video. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. This was Dan Wolak with Coal Cracker Bushcraft. See you in future videos real shortly. Thanks, guys.